We have many tools available, but most of us still use PowerPoint to share data and analysis, discuss insights, and make recommendations. But it's not easy to create a persuasive presentation. When you're presenting data and analysis, you need charts, and the charting functionality in PowerPoint and Excel is limited. So often you create many charts when a single more powerful chart would be more persuasive. It's also time consuming to create these charts and presentations. You can spend hours manipulating your data and formatting slides. The Mechographics charting software provides a solution to this problem. You can upgrade your presentations and communicate your ideas clearly when you create more compelling charts. With Mechographics, you can create better charts. You can use unique chart types and you can add analytical enhancements to your charts. Mechographics is available as an add-in for both PowerPoint and Excel, so you can create charts in either. You can also link your PowerPoint charts to Excel data. When using Mechographics, you'll find that you save time when you're creating charts and slides in PowerPoint. Here are some of the unique chart types you can make using Mechographics. These are Merimeco and Barmeco charts. These charts allow you to combine data that would have been shown in multiple bar charts into a single chart. You can also create cascade or waterfall charts using Mechographics. These are great charts for presenting changes or walking your audience through a financial report or a piece of analysis. You can also create bubble charts and Gantt charts. The bubble chart gives you a great overview of what's happening in a market and the Gantt allows you to present a timeline for your project. When you add analytical enhancements to your chart, it makes it much easier to guide your audience to the insights. For example, when you're talking about change, you can add an axis break to focus attention on the components of change. You can also add a comparison line to calculate differences on your chart. If you're talking about growth, you can add a growth line to show total growth and a CAGR column to compare growth rates for each series. You can also use enhancements to create a much more powerful bar chart. In this example, the net line shows the difference between the positive and negative values in the stack bar. Data rows below the chart offer supplemental information, in this case margin data, and these are included in the chart data sheet. They're not text boxes that you have to create and update manually in PowerPoint. And the CAGR column on the right hand side of the chart allows you to compare the changes by line item on the income statement over the time period. I'm going to show you how to create this chart and I'm going to demonstrate some of the time saving features of Mechographics. The first step when you create a chart is to get the data. You can type the data in the chart data sheet. You can copy the data from Excel and paste it into the data sheet or you can drive your chart directly from the Excel data, which is what I'm going to do. If I go to Excel, select the data range, and choose Mechographics Chart in the Excel menu. Choose to create the chart in PowerPoint. I could also drop this chart in Excel if I wanted to. And then choose the chart type. It's a stack bar. Navigate to a blank slide and click to insert the chart. The green border around the chart tells you that the chart is linked to the Excel data and in sync with the Excel data. The next step is to determine how you want your data to appear on the chart. If you choose bars and series from the Mechographics ribbon in PowerPoint, you can make your selections. Using bars and series, you can remove data from the chart, sort your data, or change how the data is displayed. In this case, I'm going to remove some of the data from the chart. So the data in Excel had header rows and subtotals, so if I just deselect those items, I can remove that from the chart without altering my underlying data. I can also change how I want things to appear on the chart. So for net income, I do not want that to be a segment of the bar, I want that to be the net line. And for net margin and gross margin, I want those to appear as data rows below the chart. I can move to the bars tab. The last bar 
was the growth information, so instead of showing it as a bar, I'd like to show it as a CAGR column. Now we can format the chart. I can add a legend. I can increase the margin, double click on the legend to place it. I'm going to choose a position of align to CAGR. If I click on chart in the format section of the Meco Graphics ribbon, it will display the most commonly used formatting options. So I can hide the y-axis, I can show the netline values, I can hide the labels. If I move to the values tab, I can format the numbers on the chart. I'd like to simplify the display, so I'm going to move from millions to billions just by adding a data scale of 3. So I don't have to change the data, I can just scale it in the chart. Now I'm going to format the values in the chart. So I'm going to format the bar totals in the netline series, add a decimal place, show a currency of dollars, and a unit of billions. And I can format the data rows in the CAGR column to show as a percentage with a decimal place. And there's your chart. A couple of other things I'd like to show you. If you have charts that are linked to Excel, like I do, you can open the Excel link manager and see what range in Excel each chart is linked to. You can also choose whether to update the chart manually or automatically when the data changes. Another thing you can do is if you like this chart and want to reuse it, you can add it to the chart gallery. You can add the chart, a slide, or the entire presentation. I'm going to show you the chart gallery. It includes a number of chart examples that will give you ideas when you need to create charts to present your data. You can search by type of analysis. So if I search valuation, I can see examples of valuation data included in different charts. There's also a preference manager in Meco Graphics. This allows you to set your charting preferences once and apply them to all of your charts. Makes it easy to adhere to your company's design standards. So you can choose your color palettes. You can also choose a variety of chart formats. How your colors are applied, your chart margins, and your fonts and font sizes. This allows you to save a lot of time when formatting. There are also Meco Graphics tools that allow you to create slides more efficiently in PowerPoint. You can create agenda slides or slides that have value chains, text boxes, or header boxes. So if you want to upgrade your presentations by creating more compelling charts, try Meco Graphics.